I've got to ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Don't you have anything to tell me? Vincent, what in the world are you talking about? All right. I'm just going to come out and say it. W wait. Listen. What's to going me. on? I, uh. I heard something the other day. What did you hear? Something from an acquaintance of yours. What? Who? Uh, well, do you know a guy named Steve? Steve? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know anyone named Steve. Exact. Wait, what? Y you don't? No. No? Not even one? Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, how could you not? I mean, Steve's a pretty common name, right? Wait! I did meet a Steve yesterday. <laughs> yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. Son? How old is he? Um... Two months, maybe? She'd just come back from the hospital. No, no, not him. Don't you know any other Steves? Huh? Well, I'm sure I do, if I check. You, you mean you have to check and see if you know anybody named Steve? I guess so. Look, what is this all about? <laughs> well... Speak up and tell me. Who's Steve? Some friend of yours? What are you getting at? Uh, if you don't know, then let's just drop it. Are you sure you don't know him, no Steve? Why do you keep asking me that? I told you, I don't know. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Oh, uh... uh... The wrong girl again? I, mean, I can't think of anyone else. Okay, so now I've got to play off this whole Steve business. If she finds out about her through this, I am in deep shit. Uh, well, it, it, it's a good thing you don't know him. There's this asshole at my work who said he might know you. So, uh... Huh? Are you okay? You've been acting weird lately. You're pale. You say things that don't make any sense. Yeah, well, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense lately. Like the future and everything. I don't get it. Uh, what do you mean, you don't get it? Uh, well... What part of our future don't you get? That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about work. It's a new job and all, and I'm having problems with the clients, so I'm tired. <laughs> I've been getting strange texts lately. Strange how? I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. <laughs> Wait, what do they say? What are the words? You know what? It's not important. Just forget it. Okay, but... Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. Are you? Huh? Oh, I'm hiding so much shit here. <laughs> I'm hiding so much shit right now. <laughs> Come on, I'm not keeping anything from you. Well, you've got to go back to work, right? I do too. Um, I should go. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll call you.
That shit's hilarious. <laughs> Vincent, I'm getting strange texts lately. What'd they say? Uh, new phone. Who dis? <laughs> Yeah, well, I asked around, and nobody knows who you are. You... you told her? Well, yeah, of course I did. And that's the quickest way to split up, right? Y yeah but, but what do you mean, nobody knows me? Well, that's exactly why I called. Look, wh why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like? Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. What? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Don't you try to fool me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Uh, it, it can't be. I, I mean, she told me about you herself. It's a different person. I don't blame you for all this, but please, just leave me alone. What's going on? Catherine. How should I know? But she... she's all I have now. <laughs> I'm already divorcing my wife. She came into my life suddenly, and then I just... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's gonna count for me, and I... I'm the one going crazy here! <laughs> I won't call you again. So leave me alone, okay? Wait, wait, no, don't hang up. I still have... What the hell was his problem? Yeah, the Catherine he was talking about was someone else entirely. Jeez, seriously? Well, lucky for you, this was just some dumbass's mistake. The world's full of troublemakers. But it, it can't be. I mean, she told me about you herself. No. no. I mean, there's no way. He has to be mistaken. Uh, you guys better be careful, too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters. So they were cursed. Uh, just get your ass back to work. Vincent isn't cheating anymore. So there's nothing to worry about. The curse, huh? Oh, well, that's great. Now I've got no choice but to accept it. Well, look, when you feel guilty, sometimes you want to be punished. You know what I mean? But this curse stuff is just crazy. It's not rational. Grow up, man. Besides, there are plenty of other ways to die in your sleep. Plus... Plus? Well, you know, I've sort of been having funny dreams, too. Dreams? Well, to be honest, I've been having odd dreams recently myself. And like you were saying, I don't remember exactly what they're about, but... Yeah... Some hard shit. Well, hey, are you serious? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all just dreams. Yeah, but are you sure it's fine? Of course it's fine. Wait a second. Come to think of it, he, he said something. I, I'm going crazy. It's gonna come for me, and I. What's going to come for him? Am I missing something important here? Anyway, this is about you, Vincent. What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh... My nightmares were all caused by this trouble. But they forced me to realize something. Which is? I took everything for granted. Up until now. I feel like now... I remember what I've always held dearest to me. Sounds selfish to me. Really? I know, but I can't betray the person who's been with me all this time. Despite who I am, I can't lose her now. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chief. Notice how Vincent doesn't clarify which her he's talking about. Well, 
Yeah. Mm. I've got something left to do. I need to change my focus. I see. Hey, beer me. Sure. Let me get that for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. Your treat. Yeah, right. like I was the only one hiding something. Oh, hi there. I didn't notice you there. I was just sitting here drinking with the boys. Welcome back to more Catherine. Where we last left off, I I had I had a hard time at the clock tower. And that's all I'm going to say. Sure, why not? Persona 4. Alright. Uh, let's go speak to Lindsay and Martha. See what kind of shit you guys gotta say. Lindsay, would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? Um... I hate economics. I hate politics. This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? You see. It's two days until the time of freedom. Only two days until... Until... Uh, I can stop playing this fucking game. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> That's some... Uh, Jesus. I... Uh, fuck this game. Drink, drink your alcohol, Vincent. Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the Pousse Café. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly, but this is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Café's appeal. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Man, fuck that. You gotta mix it all up. Like, like you're a kid and you're at like a fast food place and then you head to the soda machine and mix everything. <laughs> Give me whiskey. Give me whiskey, please. I'll take a beer. Whiskey on the rocks. Sure thing. Just wait. There you go. Keep on drinking. Hey, about those nightmares. Is it true you're all? <sighs> Whoa. This is really spooky. Too spooky for me. All right. Um. Shit. So Talk to me, Orlando. You're cheating with. She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, aren't I? This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent. I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna propose to. I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah. Thanks. It was a rough nightmare for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you. I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are. Uh. Anyway, let's let's have a drink. <laughs> Anyways, uh. Wow. We oh, yeah, got congratulations. For surviving clock tower and wasting your fucking time playing this goddamn game. Uh, me and this game have a love-hate relationship now because of this fucking playthrough. All right, hey Justin, what's up? Speak to me, buddy. I'm tired today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. 
she's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Uh, is there a reason? Huh? Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. I like it to be hot and heavy all the time. Wow. That, that sound really, really different than what I thought it would. Jesus. <sighs> Stupid as I am. I just have to give up and move on. Come on, Vincent. Drink all your whiskey. Get that trivia for me. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know what the strongest distilled alcoholic beverage in the world is? No, I don't. The strongest alcohol in the world is spiritus, or rectified spirit, a vodka made in Poland. It is distilled more than 60 times. It is 190 proof. But apparently, locals do not drink it. They use it to make homemade liqueurs, dipping fruits in it. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? Are you all right? I would like another drink, please. I would like sake. Sake. Coming right up. All right, let's check the news and see who's dead. Continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. <sighs> All right. So I'm guessing Daniel and Archie made it out fine. Let's see from Catherine. All right. Vincent, have you gotten involved in something bad? If that's the case, tell me. Tell me the truth. Your problems are my problems now. Don't worry about it. You're worrying too much. You don't believe me? No. Eh, don't worry about it. Everything's been settled. You don't have to worry about anything. Nah. I'm sorry you're worried about me. No. Sorry, I'll explain everything to you when it's all over. Nah. Good night, Catherine. I love you, Catherine. <sighs> all right. Oh, hey, Anna's here. Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? Like, don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh, cheer up. Ugh, don't patronize me. You got mail. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I hope you're working hard. I love it when you talk about your job. Oh, it's... Did she just swoon? She said, oh! Oh my god! Whoa! It's our first real day tomorrow. I'm so excited. Let's do something else after we go to movies. Like, fuck? I mean, what? Um, this came with a picture, right? You know what we gotta do. We got some, some business to take care of. Take a, take a sip first. Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me. The way I like to do things that I like to think about my girlfriend that I'm cheating on and then go and cheat on her afterwards. Time to go be a scumbag. <laughs> well, that's odd. 
<laughs> what did you see? <laughs> I'll see you at the spiral corridor tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to beating this fucking game. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. Alright, what we got? <laughs> Show me your moves. Ha! <laughs> oh! oh my god! Ha! Oh! Jesus! God damn! Is, go is it going to be a date? I still haven't decided if I'll go. Until you stop sending me pictures. We're not like that. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm so nervous. What does an ulcer feel like? That made me a bad mamma jamma. Look at that. The fucking, the goddamn, the, the morality bar, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Chaos, or, or, or whatever the fuck. The bar for that, chaos or lawful, that's what I'm thinking of. The bar for that is weird. It, it's not really all that accurate. Um... Shit. What was I doing again? <laughs> Let's talk to Toby. After I have this sip of sake. Oh, so delicious. Those are bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> if you check the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Whew. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake. Now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know the true meaning behind Nama Ippon, a type of Japanese sake? There are conditions a sake brewer must follow to label their sake Nama Ippon. One. It must only be made with rice and malted rice. Two, no water is added after squeezing. Three, no sake from other batches may be mixed into the brew. This means that the drink is pure rice sake. Use this knowledge the next time you buy sake. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? Damn right, I still want to drink. I want to. I want to keep drinking. Yeah. Drinking until I, until until I beer. heal over. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Sure thing. Just wait. There you go. Keep on drinking. All right. Um. Take a take a swig of the beer. And then we're gonna go talk to boss. His voice. I've heard it somewhere before. Unless there's someone else in. Uh, nope, nobody else came here yet. Wow, it's a pretty empty ass bar tonight. Back to uh, alone. Oh yes, I heard the word cheating. After that, how did things go? Like shit, it ain't getting any better. It doesn't matter anymore. I've decided. I'm gonna break up with that girl. I figured it out. I want Catherine's by my side. Plan on telling her about the affair one day. Don't know if she'll ever forgive me for it, though. Well, it seems you have come to a conclusion. I hope it leads you to a good ending. Hmm. That's the first time he ever said the actual K. Catherine's name. Stupid as I am. I just have to give up and move on. Uh, anybody else come to the bar? I don't think so. It's a pretty empty-ass bar tonight. Like, come on, guys, what the hell? Love is a diplomacy. Love is a game. Whether you push forward or fall back, it's all up to you. I'll settle. After that, I hope that I don't get routed. Hey. Hey. Can I trust you? How can I believe what you're saying? I hate to have said- oh, wait, what? <coughs> Hold up. How can I believe what you're saying? I hate to have to say that, but... Why the fuck am I having a hard time reading this? Jesus. I hate to have to say that, but I'm sorry. 
but but I'm not so gullible that I can just believe whatever comes out of your mouth. I need to hear the truth from you. We're gonna be sharing our lives together. You know what, Kay Catherine? How come you never send me any pictures? That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> it's really settled now. Trust me. Quit grilling me, woman. I'm not gonna cause you any trouble. There's really nothing for you to worry about. Nah. You can relax. You're the most important thing to me always. Thanks for messaging me. Wait. Hold up. What's the other one? Nah. Thank you for worrying about me. Oh, that's nice. Bam. I would like to have Vincent go to space. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Who the fuck is calling me? Catherine, what is it? I'm sorry about this afternoon. I was rambling. Hey, are you really okay? Is something wrong? Don't worry about protecting my feelings. I I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking about me. If something's happening, tell me. We're not strangers anymore. I'm carrying our child. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Then I forgive you. Seriously, I'm sorry. Good night. For some reason, I thought I could pick up that phone. I don't know why. <laughs> I turned towards it and I'm like, why isn't the phone working? <laughs> Alright, um, shit. I wasn't expecting a call. I was just expecting a drink here. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug. Beer is loved all over the world, but where did it come from? The earliest records of beer making are from 5,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia. It's said the barley used to make bread fermented naturally, and beer was created by coincidence. The earliest known alcohol is said to be from 9,000 years ago in China, a mix of rice and fruit alcohols. I guess you could say humanity's had a long time to enjoy their drinks. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty? Are you alright? I'm perfectly fine, boss. I will not drink no more tonight. Got all my fucking trivia. Alright. Um. Let's see. Nobody else really came or left the bar yet. Like, come on, guys. What the hell? I'll be right back. Sonny looks pretty bad. He always hides his problems from us, huh? But Chief's so cool. When one of his guys messes up, he sticks with him till the end. And that's his problem. He needs to take it easy. Man, if I was a girl, I'd be all over Chief. Tell him that when he comes back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Wow, Toby, that's some, uh, some very clever insight. Just because you had a bad dream. You never wake up with sore muscles from stuff you do in dreams, right? Man, I so want to punch you. Oh, Martha and Lindsay are leaving. Let's see. It seems there are more there's more than one ending to the Rapunzel game you can play at the bar. I don't know, maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll sit down and play Rapunzel. Anna just left. Marriage is two people becoming one. It's the truth. To bear another person's life is very difficult and very frightening. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. See you later, Justin. Mr. Brooks? Yeah. Shit, I remember them. Every night I've had them. Women aren't the only ones to get the marriage blues. Man asks everything from a woman, but when done so, he feels she is a burden. To pilfer the ponderings from a certain someone. It doesn't matter anymore. I figured it out. 
I want Catherine by my side, so I'm just gonna settle things. I hope it leads to a good conclusion. But still, Steve's voice, I've heard it somewhere before. Ah, uh, shoot, it's this time already? When I break up with her, I need to keep my mind clear. Yo, hey, Vincent, we're leaving now. All right, take care. <laughs> Still hanging around the bar? <laughs> we can't start this party without you. Now, come. Did I, did I just hear something? Good evening. Is Vincent here? What? Hmm? Have you seen that Rapunzel game anywhere else? No. Yeah, me neither. It's really old, and all our customers play it just out of curiosity. I saw Orlando and Johnny playing it the other day. They started fighting and blaming each other for messing up. Men who get hooked on stuff like that, they're all just kids. Men aren't the only ones who get hooked on games. Yeah, but it's different for us. Toby doesn't play it, though. He says he didn't get the appeal. Maybe Toby's just more mature than you guys. Him? Who's only trying to act mature? Man, who does want to play video games? You're bugging the fuck out. Alright. Catherine's here. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Why are you here? Hey, have you ever cheated on anyone, Vincent? Huh? Well, uh... I can't imagine. It's you, after all. I've cheated on someone before. But don't worry, I'm only seeing you. Uh, how do I say this? It's really strange that I feel this way. <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? Oh, I'm probably not making much sense. Well... Man, you're not talking much today. I'm just sitting here with some guy who's not saying anything. We're done talking today. Sorry, I'll see you tomorrow. I've been tired lately and I... I want to sleep alone. Uh, oh, then that's too bad. What? You're going home already? How are you going to ask me if I'm going home already if you said we're done talking today? Fuck, leave me alone, woman. God damn. Oh, I see. I'm going to stay and drink some more. Good night. 